Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I just uploaded a video regarding best practices uh, for long-term storage of optical media, whether you're storing um, DVDs, Blu-rays, or M-Discs. And my focus or my interest in this space is related to data archiving and backup. Um, like most people, I stream um, stuff I watch these days, but for backup, uh, the M-Disc in particular is a really fascinating option that has been engineered for long-term long um, offline stability for 100 to 1000 years. So in the recommendations I shared from uh, two different bodies, you know, they, we covered everything from uh, optimal uh, relative humidity, optimal temperature, optimal RH and temperature gradients, how to label your disc safely, um, uh, the effects of uh, various forms of light, including ultraviolet light. These are really, really detailed guidelines and if you want check out that video on optical media best storage practices um, but regarding the actual physical process of putting your discs in something uh, they did recommend the dual case rather than um, any other form of storage including these uh, CD binders so I wanted to show you guys um, just a few basically where to find these things in the year 2022 and a couple of uh, organizers you can buy. I'm just going to do a quick run through of some Amazon products. So these are the things just as an FYI that they don't recommend that you do. This is how I'm currently storing my MDisk library. I have to admit, not not on a pink, um, uh, not on a pink one, but on a, on a black one. But um, I am going to be transitioning over now to dual cases because you know if you're going to be take if you're going to be really investing in data protection. I guess you do have to, it does make sense to get all the details right. So you'll see these very commonly, but they don't recommend uh, the binders. Um, so here's what they do, here's what you can do. Um, there's a couple of nice storage solutions. Here's one that I found. Now this isn't affiliate marketing, this is just me showing people interested what's out there. I'm not gonna put links to it. Um, this is an example of uh, you know these um, dual case storage facilities that I think are quite nice looking if you want to present them. Now they did mention in the best practices guidelines that um, normal levels of ambient light shouldn't be a problem, uh, but um, inserts might actually be a problem, they thought. So uh, if you're buying dual discs, you probably want blank dual discs, not like the paper you see here. And it's probably safer to keep them out of any form of light exposure. So these are nice if you're looking to display them as kind of a, a showpiece on your shelf. Hey, look at all my video archive, but they're probably less um, ideal. Now in terms of dual cases, just again, purely as a sort of, here's what's still, here's what's still around. Fortunately, you can still buy these things on Amazon. Uh, they come, the end discs will fit into the standard uh, CD cases, but if you want to be really sure, measure the dimension. Uh, for example, they sell these in 10 packs, 25 packs. They did recommend in the, uh, in the various guides I read not using these like two discs per case uh, things. 25 packs. Um, they also have these nice ones. I've just bought myself a pack of these. They're what I'm, I'm actually going to be using or transitioning to. Uh, they're slim CD cases, so they're only five millimeters. And you can see, so these are kind of going to be a bit more uh, compact. But you've got tons of permutations in terms of different colors, uh, 25 packs, 30 packs, 50 packs even. So uh, they're, not hold to get, they're not hard to get a hold of these guys still. Now what I did want to show specifically was a couple of products like this. So I typed into Amazon dual case um, organizer and I found a couple of products that I thought were pretty cool. And that's kind of the purpose really of this uh, video. So yeah, these ones are stackable, but this one doesn't have any, uh, I was gonna say roof, but a top to it. Uh, so that could be an issue, but if you have, you know, if you're looking to store these like maybe under your bed or whatever, they do make these uh, storage cases still. It does say they're stackable, so maybe there is, ah, so you can stack them one on top just by putting it there. This one is $27 on Amazon, so I think that's a nice solution. These hold 40 CDs, so like if you have a spare um, attic or somewhere that, that, that meets these requirements for um, you know, basically what you want is cool and dry. 
So you want, um, and again, all the details in that video, but you want somewhere that is relatively not humid, but not too dry, and that really never gets above 30 degrees. So if you have like a bit of spare storage in your place, you know, you could buy four or five of these storage cases stackable and have your get very easily have capacity to store uh, four times, five times 40 would be 200 and then buy yourself dual cases. So yeah, it's a little bit of an investment, uh, but um, definitely that's a way to, to do it. That's probably what I would do above these kind of more uh, glamorous, if you will, ways of displaying them. Um, they also have uh, foldable ones I found, which is I think really useful um, if you're traveling. So what I'm planning to do, if I can find this product, was put it in my suitcase uh, and then just like pop, pop it open um, when I'm building my offsite backup archive. So yeah, these are some of the options you'll see on amazon.com for both dual cases, dual case organizers. You can of course try to build your own if that's something you're interested in, uh, but they are already, the pre-made ones if you will, are already still on the market thankfully and can be purchased from amazon.com as well I'm sure as other online retailers. That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. More videos coming soon.